Hawk has been used traditionally to monitor and manage enterprise applications. It can monitor machine data, voice level stats like CPU, memory, disk IO, network IO, processes, and also instruments typical applications like BW, BE, EMS to get application level metrics. The key use case of Hawk is that you write very flexible rules to monitor thresholds, erroneous conditions, response times, and generate alerts and notifications, and take automated remediation actions. Hawk supports traditional trip code transports like RV and EMS, and also TCP transport. With Hawk Container Edition, you can extend Hawk monitoring for your applications deployed in a container environment or private clouds like Kubernetes. With minimal changes to your rules, you can carry the same Hawk monitoring experience for your BWCE applications and also tools uh, like Kafka. Furthermore, if you have your applications deployed on cloud such as AWS, Hawk is available there as well and works seamlessly using the TCP transport. And now, with the new Hawk 6.0 release, you can monitor hybrid deployments across on-prem, private cloud, or AWS, all on a single pane of glass using the new Hawk console. You can see all the deployments and drill down to specific deployments or domains. Further, Hawk agents on all these deployments can now send Hawk alerts, container logs, or log files, OS level metrics, application metrics, to typical log logic, log management intelligence or LMI for historical storage and advanced data exploration. With LogLogic LMI, all of your Hawk alerts and important system and application metrics can now be preserved for up to 10 years and perform much sophisticated analytics like forensics, drill down, using advanced search, aggregations, correlations, and dashboards. This is a live Hawk setup showing hybrid deployments on enterprise, Kubernetes, and container deployment on cloud, all on a unified Hawk console. The heat map is combined to get alerts and notifications from deployments across Hawk domains. You can very quickly locate the trouble areas and can drill down to specific domains to see what is going on. You can see the alerts and you can drill down to see what rules and test conditions cause these alerts. Go to the microagents tab to see a bunch of microagents in the enterprise deployment to monitor the running processes, file system, and typical products like PW, EMS, etc. There's also a JVM microagent to see the JVM processes like PW engines, and you can monitor their threads or get the memory pool info. Go to home and go to the container domain go to the agent, and then go to the microagents tab. Here, you can see microagents to monitor your Docker infrastructure, uh, Kafka topics, and there is a much deeper integration with uh, PWCE. PWCE microagent has got uh, lots of methods to get the running activity stats, And you can further go ahead and trace the live activities on BW event bus. PWCE microagent has an on activity event method to see the activity events as they occur on BW event bus. You can get the entire context of activity invocation as detailed as the input and output payloads. Go to the rule basis tab. And you can write rule basis to monitor all of this data, generate alerts, and take remediation actions. Additionally, you can configure the universal collector microagents to send all of Hawk metrics, alerts, and logs to LogLogic LMI for advanced operational and business insights. <clears throat> Let's take a look at LogLogic LMI. And this is where it starts getting a lot more interesting. LogLogic LMI can consume data from over 200 network devices, databases, operating systems, general syslog, TIPCO applications, including Hawk. LogLogic LMI can retain all of this collected data for up to 10 years.
You can grab any log events ingested into LMI and create custom data models on the fly by applying parsing rules to automatically define columns. Use these data models to query for logs using SQL or EQL queries. View the results in a tabular format. Narrow down your search results by applying more filters, or you can also change the time window. This is very useful in a forensic analysis where you can quickly zoom in from a seemingly large result set to events of interest in a matter of few clicks. You can also create advanced data dashboards using the data models for logs coming from Hawk rule basis. This is a system infrastructure dashboard for getting operational insights by showing the resource consumption like CPU memory for the BWN related applications. There are charting widgets to monitor specific BW engines for their resource consumption. It also shows the top five or 10 BW threads which are in block state. Hawk is also sending BW business data for a book order application. And you can use LMI to create dashboards to get business insights into such applications as well. Here, the heat map is showing all the book orders grouped by country and author to show the number of book sales. Other widgets are showing the book orders by region, by titles, by authors, etc. in pie charts. A bar graph of authors versus book prices. The data grid widget can also show the live book orders. You can also create advanced aggregation and correlation trigger rules to generate alerts. For example, the simple correlation rule is scanning all BW book order events and triggering out if the total sales for an author crosses 50 in five minutes. Well, this is certainly means that the book order service can now call for specials. LMI supports a full blown correlation language so you can write complex correlation rules joining multiple log events at real time. In this video, we saw how you can achieve operational and business insights of your entire infrastructure using Hawk and LogLogic. Thank you.